Hi, I'm David Dennis with Climate Control, and I'm here today to show you the carbon low-level carbon monoxide detectors that we highly recommend versus the first alert and other carbon monoxide detectors that you can pick up in a big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot. It's a pretty simple test. Basically what we do is we have a baggie, we put all the units in here and spray um, carbon, monoxide, carbon monoxide into the bag and then to see which one will go off first and at what level they go off. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless gas that can kill you basically. It is a, not to scare anybody, but the reality of it is there are multiple things within a house that cause carbon, can cause carbon monoxide. Anything from a gas furnace, faulty furnace, water heater, fireplace, a detached garage, an attached garage, somebody leaving their car running outside, carbon monoxide can filter into the house. So it's extremely important to have some sort of carbon monoxide detection within your house and we just recommend that it be a low level because low level carbon monoxide for a long term can be just as detrimental as high levels of short term exposure. So with that I would like to go ahead and do this short test just to kind of show you how quickly and the differences that these CO detectors work and what I'm going to do is I have just a simple Ziploc baggie that I'm going to put all three of the detectors in. This is a smoke and fire uh, CO combination, a smoke detector combination with CO. And then this is a first alert which is um, smoke and fire as well as uh, um, other gases. And these are the common ones that are usually between $50 and $100 in the stores. And then this is our CO experts, which is a low level that actually will sound an audible at 30 parts per million. Um, so we'll put them all into the baggie. Zip the baggie up. And we see what happens. The CO experts has already registered it and gone to a high level of CO. The first alert has not even registered any yet. And the alarm is sounding on the CO experts. I can mute that one while we wait. While we wait, it says it was 500 parts per million is what it said, I think. Upside down, 220 and we're still waiting for the first alerts to respond. And yes, the batteries are in these. <laughs> CO experts is still registering a high level of CO. Just flashed an alarm again, although I do have it silenced. This one is just now reading 451 parts per million and it still has not made an audible sound. And so this is part of the concern that we have uh, for our customers is we want to make sure that the low level CO is in the house, as many houses as possible because it will the earlier you are alerted to this, the better off you will be. So thank you very much. Hope this has been informative for you and if you have any questions or would like a free test, give us a call at Climate Control.